Hi everyone, I'm Allison von Bruson, and I have the privilege of teaching at Central Piedmont Community College in Charlotte, North Carolina. Today I'm going to talk to you about our biology practice process in choosing a new book, and how that seemingly small choice has had a huge impact on students taking general biology and on the faculty who teach it. Central Piedmont served over 52,000 students last year, and our minority students make up the greatest percent of our population. Charlotte, North Carolina is the 16th largest city in the U.S., but it ranks last in economic mobility. Of children who are growing up in poverty in Charlotte, two-thirds of them will still be there as adults. Wow. You'd think that the rapidly growing economy of Charlotte would mean that it's easy for kids to rise out of poverty, but studies show that the local poor do not get a piece of that wealth. <laughs> Central Piedmont has the important work of making economic success attainable for our community. So this means that everything we do has to be intentional. About two years ago, we learned that our biology book was not going to be available anymore, and we had to either choose another book or take adopt the latest edition. So since many of our students were buying the book anyway, we just decided this is a great opportunity for us to find a book that our students could afford. So health hunter fans and everyone else, <laughs> the first episode of book hunters. <laughs> book for our students, one that meets all of our students' needs, but hopefully costs less than the $250 students we're paying each year for the two-semester sequence of general biology. This is our book hunting checklist. First, everything had to be ADA compliant because, well, that's obvious, you know, but it's required by our college. We also wanted adaptive learning courseware that would integrate in our LMS and supplemental resources and support for our students. And, of course, it had to be top-notch quality, you know, but cheap. All the things. So our first option is the rehab, our old book, but a new edition. It was not affordable at $125 a semester, and we learned it with the idea compliant until the next year. That had adaptive learning courseware that integrated in the LMS and supplemental resources and tech support, but they're not ADA compliant, so it's a no. For the DIY fans, our second option is do-it-yourself open educational resources, which is super cheap if you're not paying me to develop it. <laughs> it's also ADA compliant because I can do ADA compliance, but I have no clue how to make adaptive learning courseware that integrates in the LMS, and there's no supplemental resources. So our third option was Big Features on a Budget, an open educational resource for content, and then courseware provided by Lumen Waymaker. And at $25 a semester, it was super affordable, and it was also ADA compliant. It had adaptive learning courseware that integrated in the LMS, and supplemental resources and tech support. We have a winner! <laughs> as soon as we decided that Waymaker was the right choice, we were able to add it to our LMS, and it was so easy to load into Blackboard, which is our LMS, I didn't even need, I didn't need tech support. <laughs> Um, this is a screenshot showing the layout, the default layout of Blackboard, but you can customize it however you want. It's super easy. And of course, we reviewed the content and it was awesome. Students uh, click on the module folders to get to their study plan, which is customized for each student based on how they do in that show what you know tile up there. And then the rest are color coded to show students how much work they need to do to achieve mastery. And I can hover over the tiles at any time just to see how my students are doing overall and I adjust my lecture. When you click on a tile, you get to a section of the OER text, and it's totally within the LMS. Um, students don't have to leave, but they can download the PDF if they want to. And I forget what I was going to say after that. <laughs> Sorry, guys. There was something important there, I'm pretty sure. <laughs> okay, this is more important, though. These self-checks are built into the LMS, or rather built into the uh, text, and they're like, and, and bottomless pit of a question bank. And we have students, we've got our data, we have students that'll do these like 100 times, seriously, so they can see all the questions, and those students from our data do better in class overall. But the best features are these ones that support a relationship between me and my student, and uh, Waymaker faculty tools let me see how my students are doing at any time with just a few clicks inside the LMS. Um, I can see which students are doing well, which ones are struggling, and which ones just aren't using the resources. The auto messages tool is one that we weren't looking for. I'm not even sure I knew it existed, but I cannot live without it anymore. My students get an email from me when they take a quiz saying, hey, that was a great job, or maybe you could improve by doing this. 
And sometimes they even email me back, which is a little weird at first, and, but it starts a great conversation. But I know you guys have these students, the ones who jump to the quiz, don't read the book, and then they, they don't do a good job. Well, Waymaker fixes that. It sends them another email from me that says, hey, you'll do better on the second attempt if you read the book first. And they never figure out it isn't me sending them a message at 2 a.m. because the messages are automated. Um, and then there are always the students who continue to struggle even though they're using all the resources. Well, uh, Waymaker sends an email to me every day with a list of those students and I can reach out to them uh, using you know, whatever means necessary, but I like to use the um, office hours invitation email feature, which will send a message to those students saying, hey, it looks like you're struggling with this specific information. And these are my office hours, so why don't you come see me? And I'm embarrassed to admit, I didn't know I needed to invite my students to office hours. I just thought, post them and they will come. And they didn't, but now they do. <laughs> oh yeah, supplemental resources. So we get um, open license, ADA compliant, PowerPoints, and assignments, test banks, and um, you can do whatever you want with those. And also, Lumen sent people to train us on how to use Waymaker, which was Awesome. So all in all, I would say we've achieved our goals. Our students have saved $265,000 in just the two years since we adopted this. And um, our data showed that student performance has remained steady throughout the transition, which I think means that Lumen Waymaker was able to save them a lot of money and still provide them with an amazing resource for learning biology. Thank you. Woo!